Hello. I thought I'd like to share my settings for the Slicer program with you. Uh, obviously the settings for the Mylan M150. Now on the internet, on YouTube, um, there's an excellent video which I'll provide a link to uh, where somebody describes the settings for the Wanhao Duplicator i3 uh, for Kura and I've uh, basically taken those those settings as, as the basis for uh, for my settings as well. They work very well in, in Kura, but as I mentioned before, the the version of Kura that comes with the printer uh, sometimes just, just doesn't cut it. So uh, this is my next slicer of choice, and you can see a couple of uh, the bearing blocks uh, for uh, for upgrading the the bearings uh, if you noticed in my videos, they're uh, graunching away. So that's going to be a, uh, another subject of another video. So let's uh, dive into it. Obviously I've added the, the parts and the first tab is for the printer settings itself. So looking at the layers and perimeters. Now for this particular piece, um, I've used a very high resolution because it's obviously for a mechanical part and uh, looking on the thingiverse, uh, description of the blocks that was the, the the recommended resolution to use and I've also increased the first layer height to give it a better adhesion to to the bed in terms of the perimeters and number of times it goes around just set that to two and similarly with the top and bottom layers um, for a good finish uh, set that to, to three. Moving on to the infill, um, just set that to 15%. Obviously, that depends again on on the part. And I've taken the uh, the advice of the comments in the Thingiverse uh, item. Um, obviously, you can change that to whatever you you're going to need. In this instance, um, there's no brim used and just a, a loop around to uh, make sure that the, the plastic's extruding okay before it starts. There's no support material. Um, obviously, you select that if you have something with overhangs. Now, the speed, this is where we get into uh, some of the meat of it. Um, the speeds by default are, are, are probably too high for, uh, for the Mylan printer. So for the perimeters, uh, 20 millimeters per second. Again, refer to the to the YouTube video. I recommend you watch that through as well because it will give a better explanation than I have time for uh, for the, the some other of these settings. So you can see the other values that we've put in here, um, going up up in speed for the infill. Um, the recommended maximum really uh, for the printer is around 40 millimeters per second. Yes, you can push it higher than that, but uh, you run the risk of of the stepper motors um, not being able to keep up. Um, certainly with the state of the bearings on, on mine, I don't think that would be a good idea. And again, for the support material, if we have it. Um, now, for, for non-print moves, yes, you can uh, ramp it up a bit to uh, 90 millimeters per second. And pretty much always a good idea to reduce the speed for the first layer so you make sure uh, not only have you made it thicker but you've slowed the print down to make sure that you've got the best adhesion to the to the bed I mean this is all all good preparation like you should prepare the bed um, if you fail to prepare then you're preparing to fail and hopefully these set these settings that I'm suggesting um, are going to help you uh, avoid the chances of, of that failure. So, and the auto speed, the maximum up there at 40. We don't have multiple extruders, so there's nothing to do in there, and there's nothing really much to do in the advance, they're just left as, uh, as standard. And you can fiddle around with these other things here and make some notes. What I do like about this interface is that you can save the settings and uh, obviously yeah, for different printers and for different materials so you might have a set of set of settings for for PLA and another set for for ABS and you can choose from the 
the drop down menu there. I find that's uh, really useful. Uh, I did take a look at the Cura 211 uh, release and I'm sorry I just couldn't get my head around the the, the way that its profiles were, were stored. So moving on to the filament settings um, obviously the diameter of the of the material 1.75 which matches the the nozzle no extrusion multiplier and I'm going to be printing in PLA so my chosen settings here uh, 205 degrees for the nozzle 45 degrees for the bed moving on to the cooling We've got the auto cooling there uh, obviously this depends upon your fan setup um, you'll notice in one of my previous videos I've gone for the uh, DI3 or however it's pronounced uh, cooler mod uh, so these settings are applicable to me but you may have to to work them out for, uh, for whatever cooling you have and again you can s save these settings independently um, of the printer settings print settings and the printer settings so we'll just move on to those firstly in 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 general um, obviously you set the the, the bed shape um, we've got 200 by 200 so that's good um, there's no Z offset. Uh, we only have one extruder, and we don't have Octoprint, so nothing to to set there. Uh, in terms of the custom G code, um, what I like to do uh, to to start with, I'll obviously home the axes, and then I set um, a, a height of uh, 50 millimeters. Uh, to lift the nozzle up off the bed so that once the nozzle is up to temperature you can remove any any filament that's um, that's oozed through before the, the start of the of the print and similarly in uh, the end G code uh, obviously you turn off the the heaters move to the I like to move it to the, the right hand side of the bed and raise it up and then disable the motors Finally, on the extruder settings, um, obviously the novels, nozzle size we know, 0.4, nothing to set in here. Now what I found was Im important was um, to set this retraction uh, length and speed, the most important parameters, again derived from the, uh, the video on Cura. So a 2mm retraction works for me. That's the amount of filament that's drawn up before uh, before the, the print head moves to the new location, and the speed at which it extracts uh, the or extrudes, I should say, is 25 millimeters per second. Nothing else to change in there. So again, just remember to save your settings, and then you can recall them at a at a, at a future time. And uh, I'll just show you the results of this print. And just before I do that, um, if you're interested in, uh, in evaluating other slicers, um, I suggest you take a, a look at the, the Craftware offering. Um, it is very, very interesting indeed and has some, some fantastic options in, uh, in not only the slicing but how to move, move things around. It's a, a very nice interface to use. Uh, if you look quickly at the slicing options, um, the sort of easy mode um, we can switch to the expert mode and then there's a whole raft of, uh, of different settings the the slicing engine for the the craftware product is uh, is quite unique and uh, as I say if you're interested in such things head over and download it now it is a it is a beta a beta software and I have found some some issues with it which I know they're they're working on um, so don't expect it to be perfect, but um, coming your way soon. So I've just finished printing uh, two more of the rocks needed to modify the bearings. Uh, no doubt people have noticed that uh, this is, carriage is making an awful racket when it's moving, and uh, it seems that these plastic bearings uh, are recommended as, uh, as replacements and to make the whole thing lighter uh, on Thingiverse uh, 
uh, somebody has created these uh, these blocks, uh, which are very neat indeed. I'll put a link to the the Thingiverse for those. And let's just see. There's some comments uh, that it was difficult to insert these, or that they were loose, one or the other. Um, this is the number three STL in the Thingiverse list, which I believe is the kind of oversized one. Um, and that seems to work well for me. I think there's enough friction there to, to stop the bearing coming at the drift. Let's just try it with this guy. As I say, straight off the printer. It's uh, quite good resolution. It's uh, set to, to point 0.1. Just follow the recommendations on the on the Thingiverse page. Excellent. So that'll be the the next job. Will be to fit these to the X carriage first. Uh, y carriage I don't seem to have a problem with right now and we'll see how that works.